The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman falls in the midweek to Young Harris with Coach Tom Griffin and Michael Watching for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, this is a, a, one of those tough ones because you play doubleheader on Sunday. You're on the uh, field for three hours yesterday. Uh, don't have a lot of pitching left out there. Yeah, it's no. raining throughout the, the the morning and into the early afternoon. You come out here against a Young Harris team that just put up 31 on Sunday. and. Uh, the, 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 yeah, their, their offense uh, shows out well here again today. Uh, any, any, any lessons uh, to be learned from a game like today? I say, no. <laughs> no, no, no lessons. There's, there's no less, there's no lessons at all from this one. Uh, no, no, no lessons. Um, no, there's lessons, but I'm just going to keep it to myself and staff. Mm-hmm. It's the only lessons that we'll learn from it. Um, uh, let's see, midweek games. This tech, it can happen. Mm-hmm. We didn't have no arms left. Mm-hmm. We, we, you know, first of all, what happened in Tusculum game one, we were forced to go to the bullpen early. Mm-hmm. So, grand scheme of things, uh, we just didn't have enough arms left, and, and you're just trying to get through it. The one thing that I will ask about with this game, and we kind of have hit upon it, uh, you had base runners in a game like this. Now, would it have mattered to put up the amount of runs that you needed to there? Not necessarily, but you went two for 15 with runners in scoring position. Uh, What do you want to see from your team? Uh, to be able to make sure that they capitalize on these opportunities. We're in a game like this. Maybe you can chip away a little bit and at least make it interesting at the end. I'll say this. I am fortunate to do what I do mm-hmm. as a profession and to be at this university. It is unbelievable. And I tell you, it's, it's through the grace of God that I can do this job. Uh, and it's not even a job. Mm-hmm. I don't even have work. My family's still wondering when I'm going to get a job. <laughs> You know, you still got people you, you know and are like, do you, so what do you do for a living? You coach baseball, so how do you make money? Well, it's, you, this is what we do. It's fantastic. Got a great staff, got a great bunch of kids. This is, and, and you're going to have this. We know this, right? Days like this. So what I think is we were, we, we battled. We got everything we could out of our guys battling Sunday, Monday mm-hmm. with Tusculum, mm-hmm. which is a good club. You saw them. They're, they've got some injuries. That's a good club. And, you know, you, you win, you lose a tough one, you got to come back at the rubber match, and bang, we win it. Great. You want to win a series. You're getting closer to getting into the tournament. That's all you want to do is get in it. So we did that. And our focus is, okay, yeah. Then we get these midweeks, we're, just, we're not ready for it right now because of that. We're not ready, and that's all right. That's all right. We got some guys, some experience. We saw some things that were like, hey, that wasn't bad. Hardman did a heck of a job. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Kate Berkey came in and flipping yeah. curveballs in yeah. there. Phenomenal job. And, you know, so that's good. And I had some guys that hit well. The runner scoring position, yes. You know, it's kind of like Jim Beheim when they talk to him, Syracuse coach, you know, basketball. I've heard of him. Yeah. Well, they used to be awful in free throw shooting, right? Awful. And they, they, they constantly ask. It's like, listen, we can't talk about it anymore because the kids even know they're not good at free throws. So it's like you don't even bring it up. It's just part of the game. And you you know what? It doesn't matter if you were two for 15. The matters is the next time we play with a runner in scoring position, we need to be one for one. And if we are, who knows what will happen. So you never know what's going what's gonna to take place. But we've talked about it enough. These guys know with a runner in scoring position, we have to have a productive at-bat. Hey, I mentioned this yesterday. We had so many quality at-bats. Mm-hmm. There were some innings that we didn't get a run, but my gosh, we absolutely squared up balls. And that's all we can do is once it leaves the bat, but hard contact is one of our quality at bats. So I think we've had some good approaches at the plate for most guys. Now there's a couple we got to have discussions with because they aren't taking good uh, approaches. But that's what we have to discuss and try to get better at. And I think some guys have done a good job with that. So the the old Bayheim, we're not going to talk about free throw shooting. We're not going to talk about R I S P, runners in scoring position. We're not talk about it. We're going to let it go. And when uh, opportunities come up on Friday. Boom, that's all that matters. That guy gets that job done, and that's all we care about. So if you go nine for nine on Friday, I can't mention it? 
<laughs> so, you know what's awesome? You know the game of baseball. Mm-hmm. It's your sport. You, you're you very knowledgeable about it on all aspects and stuff. And so you know and you, you see it, you, this game. That's why talking with you is fun because I think you do got a good feel for all this. I know you do, and you know the game really well. So it's fun to talk to. Cav, it's, it's not so fun because he has no idea what's going on with this game. Yeah, he's clueless when it comes to that. But let's talk about positives yeah. because uh, you're eight and two in your last ten Here with all go. of this. You've uh, you've go. won back to back conference series. You get an opportunity here at home against a solid Lenore Ryan Very team this weekend. Your team is starting to really play some good baseball when it matters against the conference, trying yeah. to make that push to get into the conference tournament and solidify that spot. Yeah. How do you want to see your team kind of build off of what you did against Tusculum as yeah. you get ready for a Bears team that's really hot right now? Oh, they're really good. They're solid. The offense, defense, uh, uh, everything. They're good in every facet of the game. Very good club, very confident club. So it's going to be a good challenge. But all we can do is control what we can control. We want to be the best version of ourselves. We want to make sure that we have good awareness and readiness each pitch. Worry about the pitch coming, not the one that's happened or the one that's ahead of us. Um, all the things we talk about and the way we train, that's all we're going to think about. We'll have two good training days, get the bodies, try to recover from the last three days, let the bodies recover, so proper sleep, proper nutrition, make sure we're handling our business off the field, try to find ways to serve others, try to find wins throughout the day, um, you know, and that's that's what we're going to do, and then get ready for the game. And I think these guys are trained and prepared to compete, and that's all we ask them to do is compete on every pitch. Coach, appreciate the time. We'll talk Talk to you on Friday against the Bears. Thanks for all you do. He's Coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watching for the Eagle Sports Network.